Hey Ryan, do uh, our leaders need humanitarian aid? And what form, if I was to provide some humanitarian aid immediately, what form? Well, I'm kind of reminded of a Star Trek episode. In the episode, uh, these children wanted to control the ship. And so what they did is they made the crew think and feel things. And uh, Sulu was driving, as he does, flying. And uh, he saw daggers whipping past the ship. So thus, we could not steer the ship. We just needed to keep going forward or we would die. And so the captain was kind of, you know, well, what can we do? Well, there needs to be some sort of uh, uh, basic human failsafe for all these people that are highly skilled uh, and uh, highly trained to lead or to fly a a starship. Um, For instance, uh, I always thought that what uh, Captain Kirk should have done there is hit the emergency uh, um, summon the stoners button. And these stoners would just come walking out of the ship. They're like, hey, um, what's going on? Captain Kirk would be like, Sulu's seeing daggers flying by the ship. Thus, we cannot steer or alter our course in any way, and uh, I need to get control back. Okay, all right, okay. Hey, uh, Sulu, um, just need to close your eyes, man. Just relax a little bit. Just they close your eyes. Just relax a little bit. Just close them. All right. Let's go ahead and take your hands off the controls. No, I mean we're still going forward, dude. Just take your hands off the controls. All right. Okay. Now the thing is, I'm just going to steer us there, back on course, because there's probably not giant daggers flying by the ship. I know our sensors say it. I know you see it. I just don't think that there are. You know, so I'm just going to go ahead and change course. There we go. See, we didn't die. All right, is anything else? Because I'm, uh, I'm playing video games. No? We're good? All right. See you, everybody. Peace out. I think that our leaders need something like these emergency stoners. You hit this button, and uh, some people just show up with uh, <laughs> with just some, you know, some granite, some bedrock uh, common sense. I'm thinking uh, maybe we could do it kind of like, uh, well, first of all, let's just go with like uh, 12-year-olds. You know, uh, our leaders just need, you know, a team of 12-year-olds. Like uh, when you know, should we send aid to this country because they're having floods? And uh, I'm not sure if uh, that's what we should do. Just 12 year olds just come popping out of the floor, and they'll answer because you know, I think that they'd have a, an excellent perspective. And then maybe as time goes on, as uh, the beauty of this plan of the emergency stoners or uh, summoning up uh, a group of 12 year olds, when it really starts paying off. Um, eventually we get all kind of Ender's game with it, uh, start like really educating our youth, uh, really focusing on uh, common sense and uh, uh, a great grasp of, uh, of history and uh, the human momentum, the human machine, uh, and psychology, what's, what's, why we do what we do. You know, why do we sabotage ourselves? You just like really educate these uh, these kids. I know it sounds crazy and ridiculous, and maybe even dangerous to have a really well uh, educated and intelligent uh, uh, youth. I say we try it. I mean, we haven't tried it yet, as far as I know. Um, and then you know, then we won't need these emergency stoners or these emergency group of twelve-year-olds. Uh, uh, eventually we'll have a, a group of people that when they're feeling one thing or confused about another they'll have a decent understanding on why they feel that way um, and what they should do about it and uh, oh and you know and then the world would be perfect gosh I was hoping this would be a better video but uh, it's not so I'm gonna fall back to my uh, my fail safe Okay, Ryan, I'm gonna charge you to a fight. That's right. We're, we'll get. We're, we'll fight. No weapons. 
No guns, no knives. Uh, just... What's this? Just knuckles. Like men. <laughs> I don't actually really want to fight you, but you've challenged a whole bunch of people to fights and no one's taking you up on it, and I want you to be happy. Uh, and if, uh, if, <laughs> if taking a swing at you, we'll do it. I'll give it a shot. Though you're all wound up, I suspect for every time I took a swing at you, you'd swing back like four or five times, but I could take it. If one thing uh, age teaches you is how to endure a lot of pain. <laughs> all right, well, Ryan, love your work, and uh, look forward to more. Peace out.